someone stole my computer. My passport, bank cards, all my work. Any idea what this means? Anna, listen. How did you know I was here? Anna. Antimatter, otherwise known as Worm, is a 2016 movie from South African born UK family man resident movie maker Keir Burrows. Now, this is how to do low budget, high concept movie making well. London based production company, the Cast Iron Picture Co., forged together the founding business and personal relationship of Keith Burrows and Diodone. Burrows. Since 2011, Keith Burrows has written and directed a small number of well-conceived and received award-winning short films, all produced by his partner wife, Diodone. Antimatter is their first full-length feature. What a very welcome, brainy Brit flick with a sci-fi kick it is. The story centres upon Anna, an Oxford University post honours degree student working in the science department on campus at the famous English school. Her experiments have uncovered a thrilling breakthrough in the field of scientific advancement. She is on the brink of opening up localised contained wormholes to enable the transportation of objects from one point to another. Anna calls upon the technical and scientific expertise and prowess of two of her fellow PhD colleagues, Nathan and Liv, to aid her in completing test work and to fully realise the great potential of a revolutionary work. Their combined undertaking is not without risk though, and in order to attain the full power and resource required to realise their goal, they hack the main frame university computer and in so doing send out an unintentional viral worm into its system. The three revolutionary scientist pioneers push on at all hours, ever aware that they may be discovered at any point and their essential resource taken away along with their privileged positions at the university. After successful testing and physical results on a cat, the agreed time comes to undertake a human subject test run with their teleportation phase movement program. The three draw lots and Anna herself gets selected. She undertakes the very short teleportation phase within the confines of the scientific setup in their own campus small private lab. And as brief as it is, it proves to be successful. But it is soon discovered that the experiment brought about a side effect with complicating repercussions that affect all three scientists. But most perturbingly, Anna. The movie does start out with quite a tech talk heavy premise that may flounder some of its viewing audience, but it is inherently important. Plot establishment and interesting progression as the film introduces main characters and sets up the scientific project development with a credible agreeability. Antimatter is an intention holding drama of human endeavour bordering on playing God as the three scientists push the boundaries of quantum physics, solid particle displacement, phase movement, teleportation and breach the space-time continuum into the fourth dimension. Driven on by the intentional good in potentially enabling the removal of tumours from humans and living creatures, 
as well as cancerous cells and the like. To enable mineral and ore extraction safely and physically transport people and objects from one point to another at the speed of light. Anna, Nate and Liv dare to dream but of course as with any dream there comes a wake-up call. Antimatter is a medium-paced, well-structured, thought-provoking viewing experience, interjecting a few moments of out-of-the-blue abstract action scenes that initially take you by surprise, but conclusively come together within the complete picture of the storyline come the dramatic finale. Following the human test run experiment, Anna is not herself and is unable to sleep or eat and is not able to retain her memories from the end of each day. What happened to her and is happening to her unravels to a smartly realised dramatic dilemma as Anna writes down in a notebook events that she recalls from short dream periods and flashback moments to the events of the experiment and the unsettling occurrences that seemed to follow. With a linked backdrop of animal rights, protestation and police state big brotherism, antimatter is a freshly realised embroidery of a xenomorphic state and paranoia playing out in a visionary structure of movie mind over matter with a tantalising texture the borders on the sublime elements of the Matrix, Flatliners, a memento. Yeza Figueroa is the engaging young actress who plays Anna. The Puerto Rican born starlet trained at the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama in London and is most definitely one to look out for in the future of the movie business. She is ably supported in the movie here by both Tom Barber, Duffy as Nate, and Philippa Carson as Liv. All three actors add greatly to the enjoyability of investing your viewing time in watching Antimatter, which comes highly recommended for sci-fi drama lovers who enjoy a cerebral chaser to their movie-taking indulgences. Antimatter is a positive 7 out of 10 film find. A movie maker Keir Burroughs is a name to take good note of. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Okay.